happy first day of Booktubeathon! This is my Booktubeathon Reads video. I'll be showing you what books I will be reading for the Booktubeathon and what I think of the challenges. So just a little background on Booktubeathon. It was started by Padfoot and Prongs 07 and Ariel Bassett. So thank you guys for coming up with such a brilliant Booktubeathon. There are multiple different challenges for the Booktubeathon. The first one is to read roughly 300 pages a day, and if that sounds like a lot, that's because it is. But if you think about it, 300 pages a day is about one book per day, which is still a lot, but we can do it, guys. The next challenge is to read a book that is 500 pages or over 500 pages. For this challenge, I have two options. The first option is The Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Braswell. Ta-da! My other option is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which I've actually already read both of these books, but it doesn't hurt to reread, which is actually the next challenge. So for the reread a book challenge, I could either reread one of these and knock down two birds with one stone, or I could reread City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, which is what I think I'm going to do because the movie comes out pretty soon and I just want to read the book, refresh my memory. The next challenge is to read a book that has been on your shelf forever. I actually read all of the books that are on my shelf. However, my sister has a book that I have not read yet, and that is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. So I will probably be stealing that from her and reading that. Another challenge is to listen to an audiobook. I don't know how this is going to work for me, considering I love reading. I'm not sure how... I would like listening to a book, but we are going to try it because it's good to try new things. So I am probably going to get Clockwork Angel audiobook by Cassandra Clare once again because I heard she likes the audiobook. She likes the voice, the person that is the voice. Another challenge is to read a series, and I just started the Abhorson if that's how you say it, Abhorson series by Narth Gix. And I recently, today, actually, I started Sabriel by Narth Gix. And it's in the same series. So we'll see how that series progresses. So far, it's pretty good. So, fingers crossed. And the final challenge is to read a classic. I also have two options for this. I could read Dracula, which is recommended to me because I guess the writing style is very unique and different. Or I could read Little Women, which I got for Christmas but have not read yet, by Louisa May Alcott, obviously. I will be posting a recap around the 21st of how I did with this book too with Don. Let me know how you guys did. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I'll see you later.